New into stock we have an Audi A6 all-road 3-litre TDI S-Tronic Quattro. It's the five-door estate version or the Avantas uh, Audi call them. It's a 2013 on a 63 plate. It has done 66,000 miles. It's finished in phantom black metallic with uh, Milano leather. Fuel economy, 38.2 urban, extra urban 50.4 and combined is 44.8 0 to 60 time of 6.6 .6 seconds and a top speed of 147 miles per hour out of a 242 brake horsepower engine road tax for six months is 107 pounds 25 and for 12 195 so pretty cheap there too um i really like these cars i've had one of these before and i i've used it myself it's nicely finished at the front big imposing grill there and you've got the kind of satin aluminium touches to the bottom of the, of the spoiler uh, 10 spoke alloys this has had recent new tires and the pirelli p0 so premium tires as well the car's been uh, well looked after we've got these roof bars on the top which look like they've been hewn out of a solid piece of aluminium but uh, obviously won't have been privacy glass chrome window surrounds and uh, also the plastic wheel arch protectors really good option is the remote boot opening especially when it's raining and you've also got the uh, remote close which I'll show you there we have a, a load cover you can instead of reaching over to knock the seats down you just pull that lever and it flips down itself the uh, handle just inside the back there if I just flick that seat flies down it's uh, it really is a lot easier than some of the estates and it's that is a heavy back seat but that, that's a real good option it, uh, it can be a struggle plenty of load space in there Power closed tailgate. We've got the tinted glass at the back there, rear wash wipe, integrated uh, tailgate stroke roof spoiler. We've got reversing sensors, and again, this matching aluminium trim just over the uh, twin exhaust tips at the back there. I'll just show you in the back. plenty of room in the back there I've got my seat right the way back there and I've still got plenty of legroom unlike that Peugeot I was in the other day we've got uh, rear centre armrest there first aid kit in the back and let me see there we go two cup holders that uh, shoot out Really nice, comfortable environment, to be fair. It's uh, very, very nice in the back. Doesn't look like it's been sat in. Carpets are like brand new, it's carpet mats as well. You've got your own individual vents there. And we've got two power sockets as well for the uh, rear seat occupants. I'll just take you for a ride in it. Remote central lock-in, but it's uh, keyless go. So these are the keys. We have two of those for it. I'll just tuck that away. In there also is your uh, locking wheel nut key. There's a start stop button. Sat nav screen, radio screen and everything deploys when, as soon as you get in. I'll just turn that down and uh, tell you a bit about the service history uh, it's got a digital service history which I, I, I'm not a big fan of at all um, I really think it's a stupid idea however the main thing is that the car has a service history first of all that's a that's a certificate that came with a car it uh, tells you their oil change service well first of all down here Inspection service at 18614, 
um, and then we go up here to another one oil change service at 35 690 doesn't tell you where it was done which garage doesn't even give you a number don't give you a telephone number don't give you anything to check up on it's it's a waste of time uh, when cars come into stock we always check the service history uh, due diligence make sure they've not been clocked and they have been serviced as you would expect it would take me about two seconds to knock that sheet of paper up on my computer however this has also got a couple of services um, uh, sorry service invoices we've got an invoice there I can't show you the address of course due to data protection but uh, that one was done 18614 at Amersham Audi now then it was serviced on the 25th of 5th 2017 at Norwich Audi I rang Amersham Audi and Shannon there on the service reception very kindly traced the other service even she had no idea which Audi dealer had, and she had to get the codes from Audi to, to find out so big big thanks to uh, Shannon there from Amersham Audi uh, she was a, she was a great help in proving that the this car has service history um, so that's again that's the, the first part of the digital service history uh, that's for when the tyres were fitted let me just check one second 30th of 9th 2015 at 18,614 miles Amersham and Audi 25th of 5th 2017 35 690 miles Norwich Audi uh, it's had front and rear brake pads at 51,016 miles and it was then serviced on the 4th of 5th, 2018 at 56658. Um, at 59121, it had two Pirelli tyres put on and then the either the front or the back ones and then the front of the back ones replaced again, 4th of 7th, 2018. So that's, that's all I can tell you due to data protection these days. But we have got the invoices here uh, and it has got a, a service history and we have checked that it's not just a piece of paper that's been knocked up by some unscrupulous car salesman as if anybody would do such a thing we've got front and rear parking sensors electronic handbrake sports steering wheel multifunction steering wheel and that is height and reach adjustable I don't think that's ever been used because it's really stiff um, it's actually showing there's a warning light on the dash which says tyre pressure um, but it's not flat or anything it's obviously just dropped below the set limit um, but if you notice the warning light on the dash that's what it is it's nothing serious um, map sorry navigation in each of the four corners of the navi screen you can see a um, an instruction or a, a possible instruction memory route settings map those four corners correspond to these four buttons so if i click this bottom left hand corner which said map there you go it brings the map on so i'll put that on for the duration of this or for, for most of this trip um, you'll see from the description it's got one or two extras it's got the Audi uh, music interface which means you can stream audio from your mobile through the uh, I'm going to take this out because this is going to annoy me tuck it underneath the leg so it doesn't rattle about uh, yeah you can play music from your phone through the audio system um, it's also got Bluetooth hands free We've got Xenon headlamps with headlamp wash and this uh, kind of, I think it's called trigon plating, but it, it's kind of a, a serrated aluminium inset. It's got stop start, which my advice would be to turn it off as soon as possible unless you want a car that feels like it's done 150,000 miles when it's only done 10. The seats are really comfortable 
we've got, which is another extra, uh, I think it's four-way lumber support. We've got hill hold, front central armrest. Uh, actually, also, in here, if you can see there, you can plug your phone in, it will recharge, and you can also play music through this interface, and it's the iPhone, uh, well, it'll fit my iPhone 10, so it's the latest one. There's also a power socket there. The, being the Quattro, it's really short-footed, goes around corners, and like it's on rails, a lot faster than that Fiat Multipla thing there that was in the outside lane, now holding everybody up. Now that, that beep then is to say speed limits exceeded. And I've been through every setting on here and I've used these before. I've been through every setting I cannot find at this moment in time how to knock that off. And it's really annoying. It's set to 50 miles an hour and it beeps every time you go over 50 miles an hour. And there you go, absolutely effortless acceleration. It's just plodding along. We're only doing 60 at the moment, but it's doing less than uh, 2,000 revs, and that's in sport and sixth. So we'll just knock that back, knock it into drive. It's changed into seventh gear, which is top and uh, we're doing about 1500 revs so just slightly more than tick over and we're doing 60 miles an hour really quiet really smooth not quite as it's probably because it's got nearly new tires on um not you not getting quite as much feel of the tires through the steering wheel as you normally do with a quattro it's a really good ride So the acceleration if I could find out what what is doing that I would rip the button out and left the handbook back at the garage so I can't even look in the handbook get out he was going to come into my lane then and I think he did too I can only apologise about that Hopefully that's done it, although I'm not sure it has. We'll soon see. Because I've only been doing this job for 45 years, so <laughs> these things are still new to me.
No, it's not not done it. Speed limit exceeded. Well, it's set to 50 miles an hour. So uh, what you're going to see now is the exact copy of speed with Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock except in a, an Audi all road. Once I drop below 50 miles an hour, that annoying beep is going to uh, go off or when I go back above 50. 70 miles an hour, about 1700 revs, very quiet, nice and smooth. So we've got power open, close tailgate, lovely alloy wheels, xenons, headlamp wash, um, power folding door mirrors, 60-40 rear seats, folding rear seats, which fold down at, uh, you just pull the handle out and they flip down, a lot easier than reaching into the back of the vehicle and then usually having to go around the front as well and, and click them all the way down. It's finished in phantom black metallic with charcoal Milano leather. Cruise control here. As you've heard, it's got uh, speed limit warning, got auto headlamps, climate control, hill hold, front central armrest here, sat nav, music interface. I'll uh, show you how to set the sat nav when we get back. CD radio, SD cards. The, the SD cards, you, you can get so much music on. Good looking car with the uh, rear privacy glass as well. The chrome window surrounds, the aluminium finishings on the front and the rear. It's, it's a very, very good looking car. And uh, you know about it when you see it coming up in your mirror. Big grill on the front. steer if anything it oversteers knock the gear selector across there and you can use it as a manual changing up or down just by moving the selector backwards and forwards back over into drive if you pull it back that puts it in sport pull it back again goes into drive and it's at the moment it just sounds like it's it's just plodding along which basically it is we're, we're doing 1250 revs at 50 miles an hour Uh, to be fair it will probably pull the car at tick over quite happily hence out of the big three litre engine it's uh, extremely good fuel economy the front and rear parking sensors as well It's a really nice driver's road, this. The 
feel the weight loading the wheels up as you go from side to side. It's a 70 mile an hour stretch of road, or 60 mile an hour stretch of road there. And uh, they're obviously doing some renovation there. There's little stones all over the road, just uh, asking to go through somebody's windscreen. So, the radio. She move away, does she approach? Again, playing it to a range of different things. Great speakers, I shall just switch on media. That's my phone, I guess. <laughs> like clockwork, accent. But I'm Jack Reacher audio book playing at the moment on, on my phone. Knock that off. That's the uh, music interface. Suspension is really good because that's, this road is very, very rough. And although it's kind of a, I don't know, sports tourer, uh, the suspension isn't uh, too harsh. Everything works okay. That probably won't. They won't go down at speed. But yeah, driver's mirror works. Passengers fine. All the windows good. I've already checked the headlamp wash, tailgate works. And, uh, it's, a, it's a really nice looking car from the outside with the aluminium roof bars. They don't look like a lot of roof bars where they just look like a flipping staple on the top of the roof. They're really, really well made and, and look great and uh, good contrast to the phantom black metallic paint. big pothole as well which I couldn't avoid sadly and uh, the, the Audi took it in its stride. It's got adaptive headlights as well, which was uh, quite an expensive extra. I think new the car cost over fifty thousand pounds.
if, if you click in the top left hand corner of this video you'll see a choice of other videos there'll be a, a website trailer video a full video a full 360 interior where you can move around the interior of the car with your mouse and there's also this uh, a, a road test and review we have a hundred pictures on the site the car will come with a three months warranty it'll be checked over as well we do this 10 mile plus test drive to make sure everything's working once we've got it up to operating temperature and uh, been double sixed on the forecourt everywhere blocked up <sighs> well, that's handed is the uh, visual display for the parking aids 